good morning. Good morning. Welcome to Effort Bible. Was a change in the preaching schedule. Daryl needed to be at Martindale this morning. So you will hear what I shared last night at Main Point. I had a devotional there last evening on Romans 12. You can turn there. message this morning I want you to think about is to allow God to change your way of thinking. In Romans 12, 1, it says, I appeal to you, therefore, brothers, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies a living sacrifice. And as we do at Main Point, I'm going to play some songs along with our time here. See if this works. This is a long song. I might cut it off. <laughs> bigger than all my fears. God is bigger than any mountain that I can or cannot see. Bigger than all my questions. Bigger than anything. God is bigger than any mountain that I can or cannot see. Do you believe that? The song we just sang this morning. 
God is bigger than any problems you may have. Get back to Romans 12, 1 and 2. I appeal to you, therefore, brothers, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies as a living sacrifice, giving your all for Jesus, holy and acceptable to God, which is your spiritual worship. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that by testing you may discern what is the will of God, and what is good, acceptable, and perfect. A living sacrifice. Many of you would say you're willing to die for Jesus. And I believe you may be able to. So my question is, why don't you live for him? You're alive. Live for Jesus. Living for Jesus rather than yourself. That is true spiritual worship. Don't be conformed to this world. What do you think about when you think don't be conformed? What is the world? Immoral. Immorality is rampant today. That is sin. Lying. Revelation 21 8 says all liars go to hell. It's quite clear. Lying is a sin. In the world, it's becoming acceptable. That should not be so in the church. How about selfishness? The world is a very selfish place. Take care of yourself. Nobody else will. Isn't that what we hear? Most ads promote that, and they work. You need this to make yourself Daddy. more complete. Yeah. It's our selfishness. Hey, Daddy. Hey, Daddy. Something we tell our children, believe it or not, the world does not revolve around you. Sometimes we have to realize that. Galatians 5.19 talks about the works of the flesh are evidence, sexual immorality, impurity, sensuality, idolatry, sorcery, enemy, enmity, strife, jealousy, fits of anger, rivalries, dissensions, divisions, envy, drunkenness, orgies, and things like these. I warn you as I warned you before that those who do such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. What is it for you? What's the sin that you struggle with? Is it dissension? Do you like to create dissension in other people? That too is sin. Luke 9.23 And he said to all, if anyone come after me, let him deny himself, take up his cross daily, and follow me. For whoever would save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will save it. For what does it profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses or forfeits himself? Each day we need to surrender our will to the will of Jesus. It's a daily process. The guy last night that spoke at Main Point talked about that. It's amazing how God works. Tied his message right into the devotional I had. That each day we need to live for Jesus. 
We can't rely on the last, he said, 30 years. Yes, that helps. Time helps us make us stronger. But you can't just rely on that. Today, you have to live for Jesus. Time for another song. Mind if I tell you a secret? A few simple truths about me. Might be hard to believe. Guess I'm just trying to come clean. Sometimes I don't know where I'm going. It's hard to admit where I've been. When I come to the end of myself, this is where I begin again. I
God wants our trust, even when we don't understand. You heard me say this before. God knows what's good for me better than I do myself. We need to believe that. Romans 12 again from the New Living Translation. And so, dear brothers and sisters, I plead with you to give your bodies to God because of all he has done for you. Let them be a living and holy sacrifice, the kind he will find acceptable. This is truly the way to worship him. Don't copy the behavior and customs of the world, but let God transform, transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. Then you will learn to know God's will for you, which is good and pleasing and perfect. Let God transform you. Let him change the way you think. When we are born again, we are changed. We are a new creation in God. Our thinking should change. Our thought life is where our trouble starts. Temptation starts as a thought. Temptation is not sin. But it can lead to that. It'll lead to sin if we don't cast it out quickly. James 1.14 But each person is tempted when he's lured and enticed by his own desire. Then desire, when it is conceived, gives birth to sin. And sin, when it's fully grown, brings death. So you need to confess your sins before Jesus. When we accept Jesus as our Lord and Savior, we are a new creation. We need to allow the Holy Spirit to guide and direct each step. We need to keep our flesh in subjection to God. Some days that's fairly easy. To keep ourselves in subjection to Jesus. Some days it's hard. We want to do our own thing. I'm actually not going to play this song, but it's less of me, more of Jesus. Strive to keep your will in subjection to God each day. Allow God to change the way you think. First John 2.15 Do not love this world nor the things it offers you. For when you love the world, you do not have the love of the Father in you. For the world offers only a craving for physical pleasure, a craving for everything we see, and pride in our achievements and possessions. These are not from the Father, but are from the world. And this world is fading away along with everything that people crave. But anyone who does what pleases God will live forever. Our craving for physical pleasure is never satisfied by the things of this world. Oh, Satan loves to tell you, just one more drink, that'll satisfy. One more look at that picture you shouldn't look at. That will satisfy your appetite. That is a lie straight from hell. It never satisfies. Do not be conformed talks about what we shouldn't do. All the shouldn'ts. But stopping bad things is not enough. Trying not to sin is not enough. The more you think about not drinking, the more you want to. 
We need to replace the bad with good. Just casting out the bad is not enough. Think about it. What pleases God? John 14, 5. If you love me, you will keep my commandments. So let's read the Bible and figure out what that means. By the fruit of the Spirit. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. That's what God wants. Do you love your fellow Christian? Remember, we are all made in the image of God. So we're even to love the non-Christian. Don't love what they do, but love them. And we need patience. And kindness. Kindness never hurts. Faithfulness. Self-control. That can be difficult. But we need to work at that. Got one more song.
I'm a child of the living God made in his image. I'm the one you love. I belong to the family of God. Can you say that with me? I'm a child of the living God made in his image. I'm the one you love. I belong to the family of God. Hallelujah is right. Isn't that wonderful? Let's pray. Lord Jesus, thank you for this day. I thank you, Lord, for your love for each one of us. Lord, help us to love you. Fill us with your spirit, Lord, and guide and direct each step of our way. Lord, help us to say no to the evil desires from the devil and do your will in all things, Lord Jesus. Lord, I pray for your continued grace and mercy that you so bountifully give to us each and every day. Help us each and every day, Lord, surrender our will to your will and live in you, Lord Jesus. Allow you, Lord, to live in us. Allow you to live in us in such a way that others around us would see you and be drawn to you, Lord Jesus. Lord, I pray for your guidance and blessing on each one here. In Jesus' name, amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance above you and give you peace. Go in peace, my friends.